cut one of the uh, boxes that the siding came in and use that as a spacer. By leaving a space in between the roof and the J channel, I create a tract where water can escape. The roofs will get very, very hot in the summertime, and this gives us an area where the heat can radiate out. People will butt the ends of J channels, corner posts. We want to cut back an inch on the rollover of the J channel, cut a slit in the bottom edge of it, and then you can just roll the installation. You're going to cut back one inch and overlap at three quarter, and that way you get room for expansion and contraction. We've ran the splice so that we're looking away from it. So we have a nail right where the two are spliced together, so you don't have the J channel tipping up. I've made a cut on the vinyl siding so it lines with the angle of my corner post. We've talked about the 8 to 10 inch nailing. The importance of that is you get a lot of snow and ice that could build up and actually pull that J channel down.